It is now in order to consider H.J. Res 46, a resolution providing for congressional disapproval of the rescission of the Trump critical habitat rule. Copies of the resolution were circulated to members' offices in accordance with the committee's notice requirements. I ask unanimous consent that the Subcommittee on Water, Wildlife, and Fisheries be discharged from further consideration of the resolution. Without objection, so ordered. Without objection, the resolution will be considered as read and open to amendment at any point. Does any member wish to be recognized for purpose of debate on the resolution? Mr. Bentz, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I rise in support of the resolution. In uh, 2020, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and National Marine Fisheries issued a final rule for the first time established a definition of habitat for the purposes of application to endangered species, to the Endangered Species Act critical habitat designations. That action was a positive step in providing much needed transparency and clarity for all stakeholders that have to work through the complexities of ESA implementation. Unfortunately, in June of 2022, the FWS and NMFS rescinded the habitat definition due to their belief. The definition was unclear, confusing, and inconsistent with other ESA definitions. Instead of trying to revise or provide further guidance to improve on the perceived flaws of the 2020 rule, the FWS and NWFS return to the practice of assessing habitat on a case-by-case -case basis uh, and having no established guidance for landowners and stakeholders. Uh, thus, the need for this, this particular resolution, Mr. Chair, and I want to offer for the record three letters, uh, one from the National Association of Home Builders, from which I just read, one from the National Water Resources Association, which says the same thing, and one from the Northwest Public Power Association, which also follows in asking for the repeal of the of the uh, of the rule um, out of objection and, and mr chair in addition i would like to offer the lsu journal of energy law and resources caption critical decisions the challenge of defining critical habitat under the endangered species act for the record out of objection so ordered mr. chair the, this uh, this article uh, contains a, a, an excellent description of of why the 2020 rule in wake of where the warehouser decision makes sense both in light of perhaps further congressional action when it comes to identifying better more clearly uh, what is habitat but it also goes into why it makes so little sense for agencies to try to engage in this space um, but it states clearly that in the in the interim while we're waiting for perhaps a more clarity from congress uh, that we rely on the 2020 rule. And I, I, I'll just read a bit here from this, from this uh, LSU Journal of Energy Law Resources where it says, among other things, uh, now the Supreme Court has, has uh, clarified the critical habitat designations must be limited to habitat. The definition of habitat provides the scope of cr critical habitat designations. The scope of critical habitat designations should not be determined by the political winds of change but by the broad-based consensus of Congress necessary to pass such legislation. It goes on to say, the, in the absence of such congressional clarity, um, it states, ultimately, the unpredictable critical habitat designations will damage species recovery and the goals of the ESA. And that's what we have in the form of the current rule that, that uh, this particular resolution would repeal. So the article goes on to say, if Congress were to amend the ESA, it should follow the policy analysis that the services articulated in the 2019 final rule and the 2020 final rule by explicitly prioritizing unoccupied critical habitat designations over unoccupied and providing a definition of habitat. The, the important uh, point here, though, Mr. Chair, is that the, the idea is to not um, damage if you will, or by virtue of unpredictability, uh, the folks who have to deal with the ESA, and that is the problem with the current rule. So I would recommend uh, for those interested in this space and, want to, and wanting to know more about it, this particular article, I'll just finish by reading this. If Congress does not act, the 2020 final rule published by the services are the best intermediary solution. Both rules are the only regulations that address the holding of warehouser and are consistent with language structure and legislative intent of the ESA. The 2020 final rules definitions of habitat are reasonable and strike a balance between accounting for the varied habitat needs of threatened and endangered species 
while providing transparency, clarity, and consistency for stakeholders. Both actions will improve the critical habitat designation process. With that, I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Uh, 